Hey everybody, it's Nir Bashan here, the author of The Creator Mindset, a McGraw-Hill release. I am so happy to have Taraj Parang here, who just published a book called Exit Path. Look at that book. How to Win the Startup End Game. How cool is that? Welcome, Taraj. Welcome to the show. Excited to be on the show. Thanks for inviting me. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Taraj, something I ask everybody, why this book and why now? All right. So, you know, I wrote this book not knowing uh, about five years ago, not not anticipating that there would be a pandemic or a market recession or anything like that. I wrote it because I wanted to capture some of the lessons I had learned in the past 20 years in and around Silicon Valley, uh, being on multiple sides of the table, not at the same time, <laughs> but at different times. And uh, so... Um, uh, but it happens that uh, it, the book came out this August, and it happens to be extremely timely because in that in the book I teach uh, entrepreneurs how to really uh, build a startup that has multiple strategic options. And optionality right now is the name of the game because, um, especially for venture backed startups, it's really hard to raise money. And so uh, having alternatives to fundraising, such as selling your startup, becomes so important. Um, so this book is about that. Awesome. You know, most people think of startups. They're like, the exit strategy, what? We're going to sell. We're going to sell. It's going to be great. We're going to make a lot of money, and we're going to be multimillionaires. What says you? <clears throat> Um, you know, actually, what I found out in the past 20 years is that most entrepreneurs are missionaries. They are driven much more by that passion, by that uh, desire to have an impact and, and change the world than anything else. And for them, actually, an exit strategy is so important because um, most startups don't make it. You know, the statistics are that even 70% of venture-backed startups don't end up returning the money that was invested in them. So the, uh, the, the, the odds are stacked against them. And so um, what you need to do is to kind of think about either an IPO or a sale to a strategic acquirer. In, at, that would be your most likely success scenarios. In fact, there are 30 acquisitions for every IPO each year. So the very likely success scenario becomes sale to a strategic acquirer, and that is how an entrepreneur can ensure the continuation of the, the mission and the path they started on. So it's really much more about mission execution than about um, an outsized financial return. Yeah, that's awesome. You, you talk a lot in the book about, you know, keep going by learning and tweaking. The book, again, is called Exit Path, How to Win the Startup Endgame. Tell us more about, you know, learning and tweaking and, and this journey that we're on. Yeah, you know, success, uh, I found, is a, is a balancing act between uh, long-term and short-term execution, right? So, what happens, especially when you're an entrepreneur or in any kind of endeavor, what is urgent seems to crowd out what is important. You know, you put out one fire after another, and before you know it, you're kind of going down a path that you don't even know where you're going anymore. So um, so the, the, the point here is to kind of have those two in mind. Make sure you're doing the near term what is important, but also what is urgent, but also focus on what is important. And to do that, to keep that long term plan in mind, it can't be like a New Year's resolution. It can't be something that within a month or two months you forget about it. It has to be something that you take incremental steps towards building momentum. So the, the name of the game there becomes momentum. And I actually provide real actionable steps as to how do you build momentum over time and how do you make sure that you don't kind of forget about your, your long-term ambitions and goals. I love it. Exit path, how to win the startup endgame. My guest is Taraj Parang. This is really a book about doing, right? It's actionable items. There's stuff in here that you can really do. Um, Taraj, one of my favorite subjects is creativity, innovation, stuff like that. How does this book help us become more innovative? You know, um, one of the, uh, the uh, processes for unleashing our creativity that I have stumbled upon in the past 10 years is brainstorming. 
And for a lot of people, brainstorming um, is not a rigorous process, but actually it is. A lot of creative professionals engage in this thing called brainstorming. It's actually a real discipline. It combines your divergent thinking, which is like, hey, you know, let's throw every idea at the, at the board with convergent thinking, which is, hey, let's now provide a framework and bring these ideas into a coherent picture so that we can prioritize them against each other, understand what our uh, criteria are for prioritization and things like that. I really go deep into that in one of the chapters in the book, talk about in the context of creating your exit strategy, but it applies to anything. Love it. My guest again, Taraj Parang, his book called Exit Path. This is a fantastic, fantastic read. I highly suggest you go out and get a copy. Uh, Taraj, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you.